Jumping a monster truck is like flying. Now we're going 30, 40, sometimes even 50 feet in the air. It's pretty indescribable. Some people try and give me a hard time because I'm a girl once in a while, but you know, you, you really can't let it get to you. Um, if you do, then that's your biggest disadvantage. My name is Rosalie Raymer. I am 20 years old and I am the driver of the Wildflower Monster Truck and the youngest professional female monster truck driver. And we're here in Turlock, California today for the Spring Nationals. So I've been racing monster trucks professionally since I was 14 years old. When I was 13, I crushed my very first car, and then by 14, I was in full-time competition. All right, hold it. I think I was too young to remember when I first started working with trucks and cars. I have pictures at three years old holding flashlights out at monster truck shows while the guys were working on trucks. As soon as I got the opportunity. I've always been working on trucks alongside my dad, whether that's working on his truck, helping build my own. You have that side? Okay. All right. My dad is like my best friend, you know. It's pretty great getting to spend every weekend on the road with him. At age 11, she was driving my truck around in the pit area, getting comfortable with it. It was just an ongoing progression, and we just added that in. It just seemed like the natural next step to, to put her in a monster truck and uh, set up one that fit her and her style. This is Wildflower, my 1932 Ford Coupe monster truck. She runs on 66 inch tall tires. That's five foot six inches. That's as tall as I am, but they weigh about somewhere between 600 and 800 pounds, depending on the tire you run. Back here for our power source, we've got 565 cubic inches of blown alcohol motor. So she's got about 15 to 1600 horsepower and she runs on methanol. Back here is my wheelie bar. You can see it gets a lot of action. Last weekend, wheelie contest, uh, bent it up a little bit. We've got two nitrogen shocks on each corner of the truck. So to go along with the two nitrogen shocks in each corner, we run a four-link suspension. Monster trucks are a lot to handle. It's two different complete steering systems, a lot of horsepower, a lot of responsibility. But you know, I, I think I was definitely ready when I jumped in the seat. Sometimes I say it's kind of like driving a roller coaster, but I have control over it. The highest I've jumped is probably about 50 feet in the air. I mean, the adrenaline rush is absolutely insane. Going 30, 40 feet in the air, you, you feel like you're flying, and sometimes there's a moment of hang time when you're up there. where you just lose your breath a little bit and you're not sure exactly when you're going to land, but you're, you're still planning for when you do. It's, it's pretty incredible. Ready to go, Dad? Ready to have some fun? Yes. Alrighty. Love you. Love you too. Alrighty. Good to go? I probably competed in over 300 competitions. I've won multiple competitions from freestyle to racing uh, to donut competitions and wheelie contests. studying mechanical engineering at Georgia Tech with a minor in industrial design and right now I'm going into my fourth year. 
I try to keep monster trucks in school pretty separate. Right now, um, with the build of our new truck, we're working on the chassis. So getting all the tubes bent and fitted before we weld it up to start putting the rest of the truck together. It's a lot of fun to be able to share something, a passion that you have together makes it just so much more fun and exciting. Monster Trucks is the only platform really where girls and boys compete on an even playing field. There's no girls monster trucks, boys monster trucks. We're all out there competing against each other together. I'm doing something I love to do out here and I like to say I put my best into everything. Big Rosalie should win the night in the wild.